Creating and Applying Master Pages in Adobe InDesign CS6 We have the InDesign CS6 application open up here and in this tutorial we will be showing you Creating and Applying Master Pages in Adobe InDesign CS6 If I go to File and New where you have an option to make document, book or go to your library. Then click on the document or we could command through keyboard by pressing Ctrl N. This will give us a new document dialog box. Letter size is fine for this example. So go ahead and click OK with the default settings. You will see over on the right hand side there is an option called Pages. If you don't have that, then you can click it on from here or just go to Window and then Pages. Just make sure that's checked. So by default, we just have one page and if you add content on that page, it will just show on that page. So if you insert image or some text, it will show on that page, obviously. The reason you want to use a master page, if you have content that you want to reflect on all the pages. So first thing you want to do is to add content to page. And that's going to show up on every single page of the publication, is to double click on the page appear as a master. Click the move tool over here and move around and you can see that we have two master pages here. If I press Ctrl minus you can zoom out and press Ctrl plus you can zoom in like normal. Whatever we add to this two pages will reflect across the publication. So I'll give you an example. If I just create a square shape here and you're going to change the color blue here drawn out there and it doesn't show up on page 1 that's because 1 is being counted as a right facing or page on the right hand side there so I'm going to click new create new page few times so you have many pages if you notice that blue square shows up on all of them on the left page now go ahead double click on page you'll notice that this blue square here I can't click or edit it that's because in order to edit it you need to go back to the master page you can move it around or resize it whatever you want and then it will be reflected across the other pages If you want to remove or edit on any specific page, go to that page, press Ctrl and Shift and then select square. Now you can edit, remove or move around the square on that page. And it will not affect the square of the other pages. Now let's go to the master page and delete this square. It will be removed from all other pages except from the page where we edited the square. To delete it even from that page, we need to go to that page and delete the square from there. Go ahead, double click on A master. Now let's say on every page we want to add page number. Let's go to the type tool, click on here lower left hand corner click and drag a text box here and blinking cursor there and what you want to do is just to go to type and then insert special character and then marker here has current page number next page number previous page number section marker and then we just select current page number or by pressing Alter Shift Control N 
and insert little a. I'm going to make it larger. You can see it on here and you can change the size. You can change the font as well as you wish. If you notice the odd pages don't show the page numbers as we haven't applied this to the right hand side of the master page. If we just go to the right hand side page, do the same to insert page number, all the pages now showing the page numbers. Now we'd like to insert an image here. For that we need to go to file and place or else we could do it by pressing ctrl D. You select the image you want to place here. Click open. You can see the image is with the mouse point. Now just click anywhere on the page by double clicking. The image sits on the page by its attributes. Now I can resize the image to fit it to the page. Now once the image is inserted, we need to make sure the page numbers are not behind the image. So hold on to Control Shift and select on the page numbers. Now select the image, go to Object, Arrange, select Send Backward. As the color of the page numbers don't go with the image, Let's select the page numbers and change the color of it. Change the color of other ones as well. Note that the other page numbers colors remain as before. Now let's go to a master page. Double click on it. Right click on the page. Select new master page. Let's keep all the same. Click OK. You can see the B master page appear up here. Now as you can notice, things we have done on A master page has no effect on the B master page. Now double click on B master page. Select the rectangle tool. Create a shape here. Now let's change the color of the shape from here. Now let's copy this shape to the right hand side page of the B master page. Now I want this shape to be available to all the pages that are with A master page. So let's go to B master page. Click right. Select Apply Master to Pages, Apply Master B Master Page. For two pages, select All Pages. Click OK. So the shape is now the header of B Master Page is now available on all the pages. You see the header and the image we have inserted are both available here. Now we can insert more master pages from here. Also we can add more pages under each master page. So I guess like this you can create different master pages to have different group pages in InDesign for your convenience while working with InDesign. So that was all about creating and applying master pages in InDesign CS6. Thank you.